The future is looking brighter for football players in Fredonia. The school board voted tonight to merge the program with Brockton and Westfield. News 4's Callan Gray tells us what happens next. Callan? Jackie, this merger just about doubles Fredonia's team, and over the next three months, a lot of work will go into organizing the program so the team can take the field this fall. They really need to have that team. They need to have their football family, you know, their friendships that they're building. Parents, coaches, and players packed into the library to tell the Board of Education they want football to be an option. It's a family, and uh, it, it would be like losing a family member. Right now, Fredonia only has about 22 varsity players, and the district is worried that's not enough to safely field a team. So the superintendent proposed merging with the Westfield Brockton team. Only the board Board president was against it. We are impairing the brains of our children who are playing football. He argued the risk of concussions are too great and football already costs Fredonia too much money. But the board voted six to one to go ahead with the merger. The superintendent says the district could see savings. I believe that it's going to be at, at worst a break even proposition. There may be some savings, but the bottom line, each district I believe has budgeted an amount for football and this program would stay within those cost limits. The athletic directors from each district will meet and decide where practices and games will be and how the athletes will be transported. Then that plan will go back before the Board of Education for a final approval. Meanwhile, the president of the board says his focus is now on keeping the athletes safe. For all of our sports, I think we should have a one and done concussion rule, you know. And the other thing is, ideally, we should have a trainer uh, for all of our uh, football practices and games. Fredonia officials tell us they're now waiting for the final word from Brockton. Westfield has voted yes to the merger. Board members and the superintendent say they hope this is the first step in possibly merging school districts as well. Reporting in the newsroom, Kellen Gray, News 4.